connect the reader first. After connecting, jump in to the reader interface. The antenna port to be used needs to be checked. Display four antennas by default. If you want to show more antennas, click this button. Antenna port 1 of the reader is connected, so check the end one. The power can be set directly here. Power setting will take effect after clicking the read button. How to read EPC? Click this button to start reading the tag EPC. Read the tag TID, click this button. Hover over the TID number to display the chip model. Here is stop reading. When reader starts reading, it will keep reading text until it receives the stop command. How to write a tag? First, read a tag. Lots of tags. We can set the power lower. Take other tags away. Select this line and click this button. Input hex numbers. The length of data needs to be multiple or full. If numbers are less than a multiple or full, the demo will add a zero to the data. Assuming that the data written is not a multiple of four, write a tag, read again. The tag EPC has been changed. Let's write the user data. Before we write the user data, we read the data in the user data area. Click the custom read button. Click user data start address 0 length 6. Unit is word. Let's write the tag. Demo supports writing characters and converting characters to hex numbers. If the written data exceeds the hex range, it needs to be written in characters. Demonstrate writing characters. Write, I love peace. See that the data actually written is a hex number here. Write successfully. Let's read again. See that the data has been changed. Read the temperature tag. Click on the custom read button. The demo supports four types of temperature tags. Test with RF micron. 
check of micron and click confirm. We can see that of temperature is the temperature data. At the display of optional fields, you can choose which fields to display. Check fields can be displayed. and set according to your need in this corner of the connect interface you can see the information of the reader